Hey, what's going on guys? This is Slime Boss here and welcome back to another episode of Super Mario Bros. 3. Last time we took on World 4 and this time we're taking on World 5. Let's just hop right into it. Uh, this guy right here is a special... Uh, he's a special boy. Um... Uh, I think he's called like... Buzzy Beetle... Some... Buzzy Burt or something. Oh, and those are like munchies. Um... Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're called munchies. So they're not, so they're not munchers, and they're not, um, oh my god, they, oh, they're called nipper plants. Oh, screw you. Nipper plants. So those guys are called nipper plants. This guy is called Buzzy Boy. Buzzy Boy, that's what I'm gonna call it. Until I figure out the actual name. So that's Buzzy Boy. And these are nipper plants. Uh, excuse that noise, sorry about that. I don't know if it actually took caught that noise, but whatever. We have defeated the Buzzy Boy and the Nipper Plants, and now we're going to be taking on level 2, which is underground. Oh. Here we go. Plant gang. Oh, wait, what's going on? I'm going to go. I'm sorry. 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 I'm
Okay, um, like... Screw you? Screw you. That was not okay. But just... I am just genuinely confused because... You're supposed to be able to get to the inside the shoe, right? Also, first of all, first backwards level. Um, uh. Okay, um, love you too, mushroom. Love that. So, we should be able to get in the Goomba shoe, right? What? Or Karibo shoe. But like... Oh, wait, so I have to hit him from underneath. Anyway, new power-up, uh, well, it was great while it lasted. Essentially, your bottom side is invincible, so fireballs, piranha plants, spikes, munchers, anything that can kill you with your feet, you're invincible too. Uh, that's weird, he didn't spawn in this time. So then, why put him in there like that? When you're gonna have to, like, make him jump on top and then... Just do random crap. Oh, great. The mushrooms on the freaking munchers. Great. Love that. Uh-huh. This game is just incredible. They do be really be doing me like that, though. I feel, I feel my heart crack. Okay, I'm pretty sure we got nothing on this. 2010. Star, please. Okay, yeah. Thickers. Okay, so now we can head to this if we wanted to, but I'm gonna try something. Okay, star. And boom. And boom. And watch me get a star in return. Oh, thank you. Thank you, game. Thank you for giving me, like, an actual item. Okay. Another item roulette. Let's actually try it this time. Okay, so what are we gonna get? Mushroom? Okay, so stop it when it... Okay, um... Yeah, I don't know how to time that. Alright, mid-castle. Look at those lava bubbles and waffle discos and twomps. Oh, that was dumb of me. Secret exit to the end of the stage. Easy. Okay, I'm not I'm not even gonna try for that. Excuse me. Bro, the booze are so so fast. No, you better jump, Mario. Let's try that again, shall we? Oh, I don't have a mushroom anymore. So I can't break these blocks. Maybe because I my reaction time is just screwed right now because I'm tired. <gasps> you stupid boo! You guys probably think I rage a lot, but maybe it's funny. I don't know. High quality content. Yay. Amazing game. Love this. I want to sit here and talk about Mario all day long, but no. I have to sit here... And look at this freaking boo that did the exact same thing. Just so you know, this is only half the well, actually, more like a third of the world, I'm pretty sure. Because we still have a whole another part of the world to go to. How is it possible I'm not enjoying my time with a Mario game? I will I will not lie. This game is about 30 hundred million times better. Than the first game. I will tell you that. This game is 10 million times better than... How am I supposed to juke this guy? Oh, like that. Um, this time, this game is 10 million times better than uh, Mario 1 and Mario 2. But... 
How you- Why? Why? Why was that necessary? Gr granted, it's not your original Mario Fair, but... Thank you. Okay, so the Boom Boom fights are easy when I don't talk. It ain't over yet, folks. Oh, hey. I genuinely had no idea I did that. Okay, welcome to a really hard level. I'm pretty sure this has a custom end to it, but I'm not sure. It's essentially a winding tower. Please, no. God, no, please, give me mush. Oh my god. Oh, really? Thank you. I love, I love that. Mm-hmm. Mm, great game design right there. Okay, yeah, so as you can see, it's more like a tower than the actual towers in the game. I kind of want to know, like, if they were to, like, genuinely remake these games for the modern era. Um, like, genuinely. Not like Mario Maker, not like, you know, in the new soup style. Oh my god. Um... Like, if they just genuinely remade this with a modern look, like, maybe it doesn't have to be 3D. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be 3D, it could be custom. It could be, like, hand-drawn, or whatever. I would really like it to be hand-drawn in that, you know, classic Mario style. But, anyway. My point being, is that if they were to genuinely remake this, I wonder what this tower would look like. I mean, the icon, at least. Because it's one of those unique Mario symbols that's never been used again. Like, the towers in this game are, okay, so for example, the castles in this game are just are literally just Peach's castle, um, you know, and then, um, the towers have been reused and redesigned in recent Mario entries, you know, Mario World had it, New Soup had it, um, but the one thing that hasn't been remade is this, or this tower thing, so, it's an interesting thing to think, thing to think. Think about, uh, those are double, a different type of spike, which is weird. There's three types of spikes. Are those the f candle? No, they're not. I don't know why they had a pipe to just transfer you to a room with a pipe. Hey, look, cloud platform. Hello there, vine. First time doing a vine in this game. We had vines in Mario 1, Mario 3, and Mario 2. Welcome to da da so yeah, remember what I said about custom N? This is this is what I meant. So it's it's probably like a fully fledged pipe level, if that was a thing. Anyway, the second half of the world begins. The true. Hey, I, at least there's a Tanuki suit right at the beginning of the level. But. Are you gonna spin? I can't get up there, dude. Maybe they're like weighted or something. Yeah, it's weighted. Oh my god. Okay, hello. Heal. Oh my god. This kind of reminds me, like the background reminds me of Mega Man 2. Air Man stage. Anyway, um. Welcome to the Sky World, ladies and gentlemen. Like I was saying before about, um the way that this game works, that there's, you know, desert world, sky world, big world, underwater world, there's a lot of different types of worlds in this game. Is that the end of the screen? I think that's the end of the screen. Hey look, it's the original Butter Bridge. Oh, okay, there we go, mini Goombas. Essentially what they do is that they stick to you. Um... So yeah, so th that's the Goomba Nanny that I was talking about. It's actually j literally just a pair of Goomba. Uh, so they have the... Oh, hello. You're from New Super Mario Bros. U. Or we. Um, so what was I talking about? Sorry. Uh, there's pair of Goombas that are like brown and they just hop around. And then there's these ones that just fly up straight and then poop out babies. The Goomba Nanny, as I was calling it. But the Goomba Nan... The Nanny name is only given to the the the, 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 the I was about to say the inklings but the squid the bloopers those are called nanny bloopers or blooper nannies sorry so yeah the they're both called paragoombas but one's purple or one's red and one's brown um 
The red ones are normal, and the brown ones poop babies. Anyway, micro Goombas. Um, there's there's two types. There's the one with the block on it that bounces around, and then there's the other type that um. There's the other type of um block that um. What was I talking about? Oh, the other type of mini Goomba that the 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 para Goombas poop out. Those guys are um. Oh hey, a para beetle. These guys, I'm dead, clearly. As I was saying, the the micro Goombas, they stick to you, and, uh, yeah, you just feel pain. Anyway, pair of Goombas, you, you stand on them and they fly. Very cool. Oh. 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 Anyway, remember when I was saying about how the new game sort of mimic Mario 3 a lot more than World... I literally just jumped off the edge. I was just being an idiot. So yeah, remember when I was saying how Mario, the, th the newer Mario games are more reminiscent of Mario 3? Well, this is what I was, one of the examples. Um, I kind of want to know if I can kill it. Uh, uh, nope, we cannot. It's a, it's a buzzy beetle. I don't know why I thought I could do that. These ones are special. Um, and the new soup games, if you jump on enough of them, you get a one-up, but, uh, in this game, you, in fact, do not. Oh, my god. That was incredibly lucky. Really? I am going to tell you right now that that death was 100% based on the game. 100%. No Johns. Okay, that one was my fault. Genuinely, that was the game. Like, I literally hold the jump, and it didn't do anything. So anyway, how was your guys' day? Um, Mario is officially a middle-aged man, even though he's been middle-aged his whole existence, and I love that. 35 years old. I literally jumped. But we all know, Mario's just a big baby. That's all he is and always will be. He's a big boy baby. Big chunkus. I don't know why I'm saying Big Chungus this whole playthrough. I feel like every single playthrough I do, there's just one old reoccurring joke meme, joke slash meme that I do. I'm actually genuinely surprised I'm making all those jumps. Thanks, game. I definitely wanted a mushroom that you decided to take out of my hand. Oh my god. This game is, like, incredibly slippery. Anyway, um... What was I- I, I literally lost my train of thought. Oh! There's every single Let's Play, there's always, uh, every single one of my Let's Plays, there's always this one. Oh yeah, and, um, that guy is back, he spits out fireballs, and he's like a chain chomp. Um, so, every single playthrough, there's just that one joke I always bring back. You! Mmm. Anyway, a joke I always bring back, uh, majority of the episodes, and I just say it over and over again, and in this case, it's Big Chungus for some reason. And usually, they're dead memes. Okay, that's helpful. At least I'm big. Okay. Honestly, I was thinking about something recently. I, I, f I feel like... My commentary has gotten worse over the years, even though it's supposed to be getting better since I have, you know, more have practice. A little more have. Yeah, that's a word. Slime. Um. It. it it's supposed to get better as time goes on, but no, it's getting worse. I'm stuttering a lot more, even in real life. Like I just. Even in real life, just. I can't. Sp I literally feel like I have dyslexia. Sometimes I can't read. And sometimes I can't talk either. Uh, if I were to go back to one of my older videos, specifically, I was recently watching my, uh, my, uh, my, uh Fortnite review, so I can, uh, you know, get an idea of what I talked about during the, uh, during the cereal portion of it, when I talked about the Mario cereal. Um, I was just getting an idea of what I did previously. 
And, um, oh my god, that was crazy. Um, I was just getting an idea of what I did during those videos so I can make the Minecraft version of the cereal, and my commentary was much more smooth and, like, it was almost scripted, and it wasn't. My ideas got across, and I understood what I was talking about. Um... Okay, um, my ideas were clear, and I knew what I was talking about. Um, mm, not the case anymore. What? Yeah, that's just, it's just not the case anymore with video. Sometimes I just feel like I'm just blabbering on about nonsense for an hour. And I want to start getting into more scripted videos, and I can't do that if I can't literally read what I wrote out. You know, if I have my ideas in my head and I take a minute to, um, and I take a minute to, um, like, you know, understand what I'm trying to say and write it down, then I can do that. But I can't say the same thing for just talking. I forgot to save state. Yeah, no. Anyway, as I was saying, like, my commentary, like, I don't know. Uh, just, it's, it's just bad now. Um, anyway, what I was trying to say earlier was that my scripts and stuff, like, I can, you know, get words down on a page and I can understand what I'm talking about if I... What? I literally, like, slipped off the platform. I didn't even get a chance to stand on. But yeah, um... It, it, it... Again, like I say, I can't even, you know, have commentary talking about my commentary. Like, it's sad. But yeah, so... Like, it's... So, as I'm trying to convey, I'm literally failing. Um... It... Like... The... Really? Like, what was the point of getting that mushroom, all if you're just gonna take it away from me? Um, and a life, too. Um. But yeah, like, I can get words down on a page, but after the- they, they don't leave the page. Like, my ideas can get coherent and understandable on the page, and then when I go to read it, uh, I- I- WHAT?! What is that platform?! It's bugged! When I go to read it, I just can't read it, and I stutter a lot. Like, I, and I lose my train of thought easily, which is something that never happened in the past. Like, I'm too distracted, or like, something's wrong with like, you know, something's going on wrong with my head or something. Maybe like a psychological thing? Oh, really? At least I one-shotted Boom Boom. Kind of. Alright, let's check it out. Yeah, I don't know why I even try these things. Oh, that was a weird texture glitch. Any power-ups? I'll take the star, why not? I will definitely take that. Didn't need the <laughs> the star though. That's fine. Uh, I'm clearing up my inventory in the pro set. Oh thanks, Lakitu, love that. Oh my god. Hit you right now so much. What are those spiny throws? At least, um, there's a power-up right at the beginning. And I know exactly which block it is. And pick it up and... Die. Because the platform doesn't exist, apparently. That's kind of cool. Like, Mario still goes into his morph ball form when he has the Tanuki. Oh, see?
Okay, so Mario World is the first game where you can actually use the Lakitu um, thing. Not in this game. He just dies. I assume you can kill him in Mario 1 too, but I don't know. Yay, yeah, yeah, yeah. two auto scroll levels right next to each other. Da, 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 da. God, Mario music is just so good and iconic. Like, you, you can't go wrong with a Mario song. Like, I mean, really? I literally got denied that platform. Mario music just, just goes, it's literally nostalgic. Like, just as the games are, the music is just as good. It's memorable, it's iconic, it's good, like it's genuinely good score, like thank you Koji Kondo. Like right the way up to Mario, to Mario, um, what's the most recent game? Mario Maker 2, or Origami King, actually. I mean, there's some songs that just aren't as good, but, you know, the majority of them are. Please tell me I didn't die. So I forgot to save state again, so I don't know what I last said. But, oh yeah, Mario music. There's some songs that are just not good, but, you know, there's like, but it's like one or two songs in the entire score. You know, and then Mario music just got that much better post-Galaxy. Like, oh my god, that was really scary. Post Galaxy, it just got better because now we had, you know, fully orchestrated big band with 3D World, and you know, it just goes from there. I wonder if it's possible that. Oh my God, are you kidding me, game? I wonder if it's possible that. I, I don't know. I kind of lost my train of thought. But like, I don't know. Like, you know, Mario Brothers 1, 1-1, iconic, all the way up through, Paper Mario and the Red Streamer, um, amazing battle music as well, you know, there's the platformers, the RPGs, the sports games, I don't know about the sports games having iconic music, but you, you, you get the idea, oh, screw that, we gotta get out of there. I ran at full speed and went at a 45 degree angle and I didn't get a star. Glitch. Son of a glitch. Hey look, it's a duck from Duck Hunt. And another thing that just... is mind-boggling to me is that this game and also Mario 1 are on the same system, okay? Think about that for just a moment. Just a tiny moment. Mario 1. A game that, you know, looks bad and, you know, isn't necessarily, you know, a bad game, but it's very minimalistic. And literally the reason why is because it's, you know, they had, lim they had limitations. And then you look at Mario 3 a few years later like genuinely only a few years later and um and look at it look at it this has this looks nothing like the original like it looks zero like the original in fact there are so many things on screen right now um it looks nothing like the original and it runs better sounds but it has better music more layering more characters, more sprites, more things to do. Mario has more moves. This guy is, uh, Roy. With his sh amazing shades. And yeah, like, this game is just an all-around better game. There's more to do, more levels, more worlds. Um, well, not more worlds, but... You know, Mario has more moves. There's new characters. 
there's all of these different things in possibly the same cartridge as Mario 1. Maybe the technology got slightly better, but I mean, seriously. This time, I won't skip the message. I'm pressing A. Greetings! Be careful in the ice world! The creatures have trapped in the ice will come to life if if warmed. I have an enclosed jewel that will help that, that, la, 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 that helps protect you. Princess Toadstool. So yeah, that's gonna do it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching World 5, and next time we're gonna be taking on World 6. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!